Powered by Windows Live. 542 million people are, are signing on to Windows Live uniquely every month. And so I think, it would be, I think it would be really good to see how Windows 8 gets much better when you connect it up to an incredibly rich set of cloud-based services with Windows Live and use some of the new Metro-style apps that we've written to connect up to Windows Live. So no one's better equipped to do that than Chris Jones, the Senior Vice President for Windows Live. So I want to invite Chris up to do a demo of cloud-based services for Windows 8. Uh, I want to give everyone a sense of the things that we, we've been working on in Windows Live and how a little bit of cloud and new Metro style can really bring some new applications to life in the experience. Uh, we took the bold step of actually rewriting all our applications for Metro style on Windows 8 and really making sure that they're connected and powered by the live service in the cloud. Uh, so here I am on my start screen and you can see that I've got live tiles right here. It's really easy for me to find out what's going on. I've got a new mail message uh, from the mail that, from my wife. I've got my calendar up, people are messaging, and I can also see photos that I've uh, shared or connected to the device. If I want to see what's happening with mail, I just click, and there up pops a Metro-style mail. This is all written in HTML and JavaScript, and it's connected to my mailbox on Hotmail, but it's also connected to my mailbox at a glance on Exchange. So I've got all my mail applications right here, and I can switch between those. Uh, you can see that it's written to be immersive. So I've got the inbox and the message. But you know, if you're someone like me, you've got to go to your Exchange account, and you want to actually look at those folders. It's got folders right there, the full power delivered by Exchange ActiveSync to Hotmail, to Exchange, or to other mail services that support Exchange Active. Right, so this, this Metro style mail client manages all of your mail accounts in one place. All my mail accounts in one place, and because they're all stored in the cloud, I just type my live ID into this PC and they all just come down to this system. I don't have to worry about setting things up anymore because all the settings are roamed through live. Uh, and you can see I can scroll through this list with touch. It does a really nice job. Uh, one of the things that I might want to do is actually check my calendar, and here is that, that Metro-style calendar, and it's also written in HTML and JavaScript. So you'll notice I can actually scroll through the events here, really nice, smooth scrolling, and I can scroll up and down here. Uh, and if I want to find out what's going on in my life, I look at all my calendars right here. So this isn't just my calendar, but it's also any calendars that have been shared with me through the live service show up here automatically. So for me, my wife's calendar is here, which means I can see what's happening with her and with the kids, as well as what's going on in my life. Uh, and again, I can switch between really nice views. So there's a nice week view that I can flip through, or I can even go to month view in the calendar and look at how fast and responsive it is to build this kind of application. And also, again, powered by the cloud connected to those services. If I want to see what's happening with the people in my life, I can just click people, and let me go back to the top of this, and you'll notice that I've got people, uh, and it's a connected address book. What's a connected address book mean? It means that for all of us, we've got people we know on social networks, work email, personal email, and you want to bring one list of those folks together. So we've written an app that does that. So this is all my friends across Facebook, LinkedIn, my work and my personal account, and I can actually just easily scroll through those and see what's happening. Uh, so through the back end of Windows Live, you know, when you connect up your live ID to any of the connected sites like Facebook or, or anybody, you get all of those contacts available in this Metro style app. And it's just nice because at a glance I can see their contact information, what's happening with them, and I can go and catch up with what's new. And it aggregates that into a single contact card. So I've got all their email addresses and other stuff that I want to use right on this PC. The next application I want to show is Photos. Photos is a great example of an application that's really designed to be cloud powered. Uh, I take lots and lots of pictures, and probably all of us have tens of thousands of photos because of digital cameras. Some of them are even worth sharing with other people. And they're stored across the different devices that I have. So I have 10,000 photos on my home PC, and I've got photos here. Mike's got a hard drive for you if you I, I, You know, I've been looking for that three terabyte hard drive. Uh, so here, for me, I've got now a Photos app that keeps track of all of my photos in one place. I didn't have to tell this application my Live ID because I'm already logged into Windows. It also is connected to Facebook and Flickr because I've told Live about Facebook and Flickr, and now the Photos app knows about those things. 
So right in this experience, I can actually just click in and start browsing through photos. And notice, this is again written in HTML and JavaScript like Antoine showed. And all these animations, this all built into the WinRT platform. Using those common controls and platforms. And you can see what kind of a rich experience you can build right from here. So if I want to go look at my Facebook photos, there's some mobile uploads. And notice that these are pictures that I've taken and uploaded to Facebook. And you can see that I had a nice picture from the Build Conference. I took that this morning. I didn't have to put that on this PC. It's on Facebook because it's connected to live. It just came down automatically nice in time for my demo. And then I've got photos on Flickr. You'll see two other things here that I want to talk about and explain a little bit. One is this notion of a SkyDrive. We, you may have heard about SkyDrive. We've got 100 million people using SkyDrive today. What we've done is really said every Windows 8 user's got a SkyDrive. Every Windows Phone user's got a SkyDrive. In fact, if you've got a live ID, you have a SkyDrive. And it's there for you to put your personal files and things you want to share. It's also accessible to developers. And that's an important thing, because it lets you as a developer access SkyDrive the same way you might have accessed the local file system. In our Photos app, we've done that accessing, and I want to show you. So I can click on SkyDrive, and these are my SkyDrive photos that show up in the photo album. So you're navigating SkyDrive in our data centers right here from this Metro-style app. Right here in this Metro-style app calling those APIs. The other thing we've done is we've made it so that you can actually connect your devices together through Live. Remember I talked about this notion of photos that are on my other PC. Well, you see this thing called Work. That's my Work PC. And I can actually just browse right in here from the Photos app into my Work PC. Wait, wait so this PC is actually in Redmond behind Microsoft's firewall. That's right. You're here behind this firewall, and we're traversing and just navigating your hard drive in your office. That's right. And, and because we've got Live ID and a trusted, authenticated connection on both of those PCs, it's possible for that tunneling to happen. And just a little bit of cloud to do the firewall traversal, it really goes a long way in making this scenario happen. To sh um, so let me give you another quick demo on the SkyDrive stuff just to show you what's going on with SkyDrive and give you an example of the power of that when you talk about sharing in this web of apps. So here I am in the pictures library. I navigated back, and what I want to do is select some pictures to share. So I'm just going to swipe to select. And you know, sometimes you just want to go through and find exactly the right photos, so I got those three. Then I can swipe over, click the share charm, and notice that share comes up. Now I'm going to click on Mail to share from Mail, and there's that Mail app right there. Notice that the three photos got captured, and now they're going to be shared on SkyDrive. This isn't a feature that's unique to Hotmail. It's for any mail client you've got. So I can send it right from my Microsoft email address. And you, got, you get autocorrect on, send, on the send. And also, that whole pane is something you can build as an app developer so that when you implement the sharing contract, you've got a great way to, to show all the features of your app without the, other, the person leaving the context of the app that they're sharing from. Yeah, and then I've got this connected contact list. So if I want to send mail to my friend Piero, I just type Piero, click it. And there it is. And then I can type a subject, which is photos. And then right from there, I'm done. I click share and send. And so that's going to actually send that off, post it on SkyDrive, and make an online photo album, and then send a reference through the email. The fact that I can rely on that SkyDrive as an application developer is a very important thing, because it lets me just put stuff in that storage and then know that users can access it, because we've done all the work to host the data center and make sharing possible. It's, it's really, you're, you're going to see, and this API that you've got available to you is going to be very rich and make it possible for you to integrate SkyDrive storage into your apps. So let me actually, I, I just brought up Modern Internet Explorer, and I want to actually show a couple things just for reference. So this is SkyDrive, the website. And here, just to show you, those are those same photo albums rendering in the browser just using a web browser connection. But not only that, there's that work PC that I talked about. And I have full access to that work PC through the browser. Just to prove to you that I've got that full access, there's the portrait gallery right there. And so I can click on that and navigate down to it. And let me just switch to tile view to show you. Those are those photos. So remotely through the browser, I get back to any PC I've connected to live. 
You've shown a lot of photos, Chris. What about some other files? Yeah, I know. It's not the most interesting thing. So let's actually just go and let's go right to the root of that drive and let's go into program files. Like, this is really the full, the SQL Server compact edition. Maybe I want to go fetch that. <laughs> so I can fetch any file that I want. As a developer, maybe I've got projects on a PC where I want to go look at the source code for those things and I'm on a browser somewhere. I can just go connect up to a browser, log into that PC, and just go remotely browse to those files. All right. So that's a quick overview of what's happening here. Why don't we switch over to the phone? Because as, as, if you're like me, you got a phone that you use on a pretty regular basis too, and that's important. So let me swipe up to my phone. And here I am on my Windows phone. This is Windows Phone 7.5 running on a new HTC phone. And what the thing I really want to demonstrate here is that same power of having live and a live service that powers the phone. So what you can see here is, you know, I showed those calendar appointments. Well, there's that same set of calendar appointments coming down to my phone. So on the go, I can see those. I showed those email messages. There's that same set of email messages showing up on my phone. All I did was type in my live ID. And then if you want to see photos, that's great. There's that same set of photo albums showing up on my phone, including the ones from SkyDrive and from Facebook. Now, what I want to do right now is take a photo and actually show so that the audience is bright. I'm not, I'm not going to take a photo of you. I'll make sure I take a photo of the clock right there. So I'm going to take a photo. And here on the phone, you'll see that we've got a great feature we call camera roll. And camera roll is just a list of those photos that I've taken. So you can see up here, I've got photos that I've taken of folks <laughs> that are on my camera roll. There's Alesh. We we're all prepping. We'll see him camera. later. We'll see, we'll see Alesh later. Um, and what happens is my camera rolls, same API connected to SkyDrive. So it's just uploading photos as I take them to SkyDrive. Now I'll switch to this great desktop PC, uh, and you'll see what it happens for, uh, for me to go and take that same experience, log in, and be roamed. So here I am on the desktop PC. I can swipe up. This is a cool uh, all-in-one touch-based desktop It's for Windows 7. This is an amazing system. It's, uh, it's built by Acer, and it's got this great touch screen. But also, as you know, there's this ability to tilt, so you can really operate it almost like a table computer if you want to for touch. So here I am. I've got all the things showing up. So there's those mail messages that you can see, which is great. So I can go and say, same mail messages. What I did to set up this PC is the same thing I did for the others and the phone. I typed in my live ID and my stuff came down. Now I've got my calendar events that I can go check out. I can check out people on this PC. So there are the people showing up. So you can see those. And now notice that all it's going and fetching the tiles. So all the tiles are coming down. I can check in on a person if I want to, like Piero. Uh, and I can actually see what's new with him, post funny pictures. And I can also browse to his photos so it's easy for me to stay in touch with somebody. And then I can go to that Photos app. And you notice that the uh, Photos app's going to come up. I took this, these photos. So let me go back to the top. There's my SkyDrive and my camera roll. Let's go into my camera roll over here. Uh, there it is. Oh, and the photo didn't show up. Classic demo failure. <laughs> anyway, uh, just to prove to you that that photo showed up, let me go back to my uh, work PC here, to my SkyDrive. Uh, and I'll actually go into uh, my photo section here. And let me go up to the SkyDrive camera roll, uh, find it really quickly. There it is. Uh, and uh, it still didn't show up, so I'm probably not connected to the wireless network. But uh, we didn't get that to work. Oh, well. So I just, well, oh, well. <laughs> uh, I did, I just wanted to quickly give you a preview of what's happening with our connected apps and the work that we've done through the cloud. Uh, and like I said, we're not releasing these applications today. This is a first look. But we really have written them in the Metro style, as Metro style apps with the API. And a lot of the stuff that I showed you, you're just going to get for free because the settings roaming and all of that just comes by writing an app. And there are more sessions later on Live and SkyDrive and how you can take advantage of those services. Cool. Great. Thanks, Chris. Thanks. So you saw some awesome stuff with, with uh, Windows Live in the cloud. First, just brand new Metro style apps for mail, photos, calendar, people. It connects ju not just to Windows Live, but to all of the services that you want to connect to through Windows Live. You can sync your settings across all your PCs and devices and your phone as well. You've got SkyDrive, not just for photos or just for uploading documents through a browser, but you can access now your own PCs, all of your devices through the browser or through the Metro style apps. And as you learned this week, and they're alive on the build, live APIs for SkyDrive so you could build your own cloud-connected Metro-style apps that use storage. 
So a huge amount of infrastructure is available to you as a, a, a developer in order to tap into the power of live. 